Hi, this is Frode again, and uh, we are back with the last video in the series of uh, 20 hours of learning to draw better. And uh, as you might have seen in the first video, I uh, told you that I uh, have been practicing uh, drawing for 20 hours now, because I had read the book The First 20 Hours, How to Learn Anything Fast by Josh Kaufman. And uh, his basic principle of the book is that it might take uh, 10,000 hours to become an expert in any field, but it only takes about 20 hours to become so good that you can really enjoy something and perhaps create something that you're really proud of. And uh, one of the other inspirations for uh, doing this process for me is that uh, I kind of want to be an, a renaissance person, like uh, Da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci was really great at engineering, botany, drawing, painting, sculpture, anatomy, and uh, yeah, that's the different fields. So he can see more connections and solve bigger problems in the world. So anyway, here we are at 20 hours. I'll first, it, it's, um, I will split it, split it into three parts. Meaning, first I show you some before after pictures. Then I'll just go quickly through the main lessons I learned about how we can learn to draw most effectively. Mostly to show you that it's not really complicated learning to draw, especially if you want to just learn some few things like learning to draw figures, and that means people. Oh, my timer. Or you can draw faces. And finally, number three, I'll just go through the notebook book to show you what the process was like learning to draw and the notes I made. All right, so first we have a uh, picture of the god Apollo, Greek god Apollo, a uh, god of sun, music, poetry, and a lot of other things. So after about nine hours of practice, halfway through, I drew this image of him. And I don't have the picture of him right now. Or actually I do. You can look at it here. Oh. And, oh, that's Socrates, oh, Plato, there he is. And perhaps we can compare them. Yeah, perhaps you don't see it so well. But uh, the basic form is there. And uh, then we have after 20 hours of practice. I did this drawing today. That one right here. And as you can see, I'm uh, pretty much, I'm much prouder of this one than this one, because uh, I hadn't learned, for example, to shade in layers. First just shade all the basic, the brightest parts, then you shade again over the darker parts. And I hadn't learned how to create figures in uh, better shapes. So uh, I don't know which one you like the most, but I definitely like this one, which I got after 20 hours of practice versus 9 hours of practice. Then we have uh, a... Uh, Portrait. I just need to get it right here. So this portrait was something I did uh, not very proud about after seven and a half to nine hours of practice. And here we can see the last one I made today, which was uh, about 18 hours to 20 hours. And uh, if you know how I look, you know how that's like. Okay, it's uh, I wouldn't say it's a little bit better. Don't look like a freak. And finally, I also had some other goals of um, what I wanted to draw. So I basically wanted to learn drawing figures, meaning people, and I wanted to learn drawing faces. So my first goal was to draw the Vitruvian man, anatomy and anatomically correct meaning the muscles and everything is uh, looks really good i didn't really i not i didn't do uh, this was one was okay it doesn't really look like him a lot because i didn't turn out uh, learning a lot about anatomy so it's okay and then we have leonardo da vinci the man pretty happy about this one i think it looks uh, pretty much like the picture and uh, yeah that was that. And I also have some other drawings, but uh, we'll leave it at that. Then I told you I would go through the um, last part. And uh, while, before we begin with the um, lessons, I just want to say that the main thing 
I believe is most important for learning to draw anything is just having the confidence to do it. The courage to draw or do something again and again and feel stupid. That's also something that Josh Kaufman mentions in the book, that we don't like to feel stupid, and that's the reason that we don't want to learn new things. And I felt really stupid in the beginning. So, here are some quick lessons on uh, learn to draw. You need to learn the basics of proportion, how big the face or head is uh, in relation to the body and the feet, etc. And uh, instead of finding your drawing, or well, instead of, uh, as you're learning, instead of judging your drawing, which will be bad in the beginning, just practice drawing more, because that will make you good. Then seeing. I learned a lot about not only really seeing what you are drawing, but seeing the basic shapes and lines of what it is you're actually drawing in this second. And that brings me to shapes. We can really, all shapes, all things can be broken into shapes, which I'll talk more about soon. And uh, you can use them to outline your drawings. For example, by creating really, really simple cylinders for the feet of people, or a rectangle for the upper body, and lines for the hands, and then just draw around. Then you have perspective. You have, um, and again, I teach you, I'm just uh, telling you this to show you how learning to draw is not really that complicated. Then you have perspective, you want to use a vanishing point to sh make things look further away if they're up here, and closer if they're down here. And vanishing point is basically a point, lines, and then you have two lines going. Here's the vanishing point, where things get smaller and smaller and smaller, and they disappear. For shading, you want to use it to create a sense of depth and form. And when you make something darker, you make the things around it brighter. If you want light, you need the dark. Same way, in the same way that uh, you can't have a good person without having an evil one to compare him to. Faces. You shouldn't worry too much about proportions, just learn the basics and enjoy practicing. Doodle is something you could do just to loosen your hand. I'll show you more very soon. Expand your mind and draw movement and emotion quickly. Plans because it's fun. <laughs> and grip. Close to the point means uh, you can use it for precision. Further away means you like get longer lines. You can, uh, for figures, you can use simple shapes to outline their structure before you fill in the details and shading. First, use mood lines to very simply convey an emotion or movement. Then, you can keep drawing. For example, if you want to have a dancing man, you can just draw some really simple shapes, lines like this, and then draw around it. For uh, your motivation of, of drawing, I found it really motivating when I had learned the basic skills of uh, shapes and lines and just seeing what I'm drawing. Uh, it was really motivating to draw women I find beautiful. And for if you are a woman, you can uh, draw men you find handsome, or boys. And uh, you can draw landscapes you find beautiful. Or else you can draw someone you really admire. It can also be a fantasy character. I did uh, this god, Apollo, as you see here. Then uh, you can also j just draw something you think looks cool. You can find people uh, images on Facebook, just perhaps don't show them before you're, you, it actually looks like them. And uh, goals. Create uh, clear goals of what you want to be able to draw specifically. Then you can look for videos, books or courses on how to do that. And uh, now, so that's uh, the basics of drawing, especially faces and figures. So it's not really complicated. And uh, now I want to just walk you quickly through the main things of my book. I will go really quickly because as you can see this video is starting to get pretty long. So here we had an upside down drawing, just so I could learn seeing the shapes, and I seeing the lines instead of seeing the whole image. Same with this one, just seeing the lines and naming what I'm actually drawing. Line, curve, line. Here we learned a lot about perspective, things in front look neat closer than things behind. For shading, we can use different uh, values to have something darker than something else. You learned about vanishing points, things up there is much smaller than things closer. And we have some examples. 
going on. And uh, something really fascinating I learned was that everything can basically be broken down to these simple shapes. Everything you're drawing. Rectangles, squares, triangles, think pyramid, circles, the sun, planets, cones, cylinders, the f feet of uh, us, our bones, and uh, ellipses. And yeah, you can just draw these shapes while you're doing anything. You practice all the time, refining your skills and the uh, ability to really see shapes in the environment. And yeah, I, I practiced a lot of shapes. Again, just to give you a feel of what the process was like. And this, it was really quick, because I didn't really judge much of what I draw, drew. It's uh, not to be perfect, it's just to increase your chance to draw shapes, which helps you draw everything. And here's when I learned that if you want something to be, look bright, make it even darker around it. Contra use the power of contrasting something. And for the grip, the further forward you, you hold, the more details you can create, and longer lines away, and more smooth lines. Here I learned about how a figure is built up, just a circle, and oval for the upper body. Then you have a little for, uh, thing for the ribcage, a line for the hips, and two ovals for the legs, and then just draw the knees. So it's a, and triangles for the arms, for the scapula on your back, and just draw. So it's really simple learning these things, if you just can manage to get yourself doing it. And then we also want to use mood lines, which are just these simple lines that you create before you're drawing. If you want to create movement and emotions. And uh, for a how to create a draw a realistic face, a man named Leonardo Perez Nieto, I think. A really good drawer. He's at Fine Art Tips on YouTube. He started showing us all of these measurements we need to create to create the perfect proportions for the face. And yeah, dozens of, uh, of uh, lines and proportions. And then he just smudged uh, the paper and said that it's really a lot simpler uh, than that. You just draw an oval, line down the middle, line at the side. This is where the eyes are. Then split the lower half, lower in half. Then split that lower half again, almost in half, but just a bit above. That's the mouth. And here is the nose. And you can uh, just fill in the rest, start shaping the face. Faces was something that I really was a bit scared about in the beginning, but now it's all right. And if you want to get good draw at drawing faces, get good at drawing the parts of faces. So it's just, again, practicing until you get it. And we are back at the before and after pictures. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I really have uh, one question for you. For um, uh, to get to know if I'm uh, to s continue creating these videos, and that is, did you find this video helpful to get a general overview of uh, how you can learn skills really quickly if you just learn some simple basics? And also, do you want me to actually start giving tutorials based on what I learned during these 20 hours? So you can get from suck to unsuck. Okay, a quick heads up, I'm also going to be learning to play the piano right now. I have been playing a lot of piano before, but I haven't really learned it in a structured way of learning the complete basics that we need to really get good at it. And uh, yeah, you'll be hearing from me. I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, look forward to keep going with this series. Have another awesome day and I'll see you soon.